This demo is of the IntelliJ plugin for Digital.ai Continuous Testing. Let's get started with how to download the plugin. We're going to start from within IntelliJ by going to File in the menu and then select Settings and then click on Plugins. And once the Plugins page is loaded, you can search for Appium. You'll see a plugin named Appium Studio for IntelliJ and you can download it from here. Once downloaded, you will see a new tab available called Appium Studio. Beneath that, you have the cloud connection, which gives you the capability to connect to one of our clouds. The next thing I need is an access key, so I need to go to the continuous testing platform, also known as the lab, and all I need to do is click on the top right where my username is and click on get access key. Once the dialog box opens, I can simply copy the access key. I'm going to paste it here and hit the connect button. I have the notification that I'm connected to the cloud and if I open the tab, I can see the list of all of the devices that are currently available to me for testing. I can pick any device and I will have full control over it. I have an iPhone XS2 device open. While the device is open, I have full control. I can swipe, click, send a text only using my mouse and keyboard. I also have the application manager, which shows me all of the applications that I have uploaded into my lab. From there, I can install, launch, and uninstall applications. So let's go to the application we want to install. We're going to use the Arabic demo app. Now that the application has been installed successfully, I can also launch it. I can interact with the device and send a text, as we mentioned earlier. And now from here, if I want to develop and create automated tests, I need to fetch the dump. There's a button here to fetch the UI dump. When I click that, I get a full UI dump from the application in the foreground. Once I select one of the elements on the right side, there's a tree where I can see all the elements. And if I want to use any of these, I can pull it up, use the username, click Copy XPath, and it will identify the element. Let's see how I can debug a test. I can run this test that has already been created against the device that we currently have open. So what we're going to do is run this TestNG XML debug while I have a breakpoint in the code. It's going to install and launch the application. As we can see, the test is now on the debug point. The texts were sent, so we are done with this test. We're now on the second phase, and I can step over to see how it works. I'm going to step over again. I can control the device and do whatever I need to it as it is on the breakpoint, then I can resume the test so it can finish. Thank you for watching this demo of the IntelliJ plugin provided by Digital.ai Continuous Testing. Have a great day.